Hi guys, today we are going to discuss Cambridge Primary Science Checkpoint Revision Mode. It is based on the curriculum. Well, today we are going to do chemistry. There are three substrates that is material properties, material changes, and state of matter. So we start from number one, material properties, and then followed by material changes, and then followed by states of matter. So in this video, we're going to complete the chemistry topic for Cambridge Primary Science Checkpoint. Let's get started. Material properties. What is material? The substance used to make something is called material. Material have different properties that make them useful for different jobs. Material may be soft, hard, flexible, bendable. Rigid or stiff, transparent, opaque, rough, smooth, shiny, or dull. What is transparent? Transparent, it means it's like glass. We can see through. While opaque, meaning the light does not shine through it. So it's like wooden door, wooden cupboard. So we, the light does not shine through that material. Now let's move to the next topic. There are different types of materials. Metals, plastics, glass, fabric, wood. Let's see them one by one. Metals are strong, hard, and shiny materials that can be hammered into different shapes without breaking. They are good conductors of heat and electricity, and some are magnetic. Their properties make them useful for objects such as cutlery, saucepans, cars, and coins. Plastics are materials made from chemicals and are found not found in nature. Plastic is man-made. They are not found in nature. They are strong and waterproof. They can be made into any shape by applying heat. Plastic are not magnetic. They are good insulators and don't conduct heat or electricity. They are used to make things like bags, bottles, and toys. Glass and fabrics. Glass is made by melting sand and other minerals together at very high temperatures. It is normally transparent and can be made into different shapes. Thick glass can be strong, but thin glass breaks easily. It's used for objects that need to be transparent, such as windows and spectacles. While fabric, fabric are made from thin fibers woven together. Different fabrics have different properties. They can be stretchy, a pair of tights, insulating, a woolen coat, or absorbent a towel. Fabrics are used to make clothes as they are flexible, warm, and do not wear out easily. Wood comes from tree. It is strong, flexible, and long-lasting. It is an insulator of heat and electricity. It is used to make things such as furniture. Now we are in the second subtopic that is states of matter. All substances are made up of matter. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Let's look at them one by one. Solid has definite shape and volume, cannot be compressed. Particles are closely packed. While liquid, like this, is liquid. Liquid water, this is solid. Liquid have definite volume but no definite shape. They change wherever you put them into. And they take the shape of a container they are poured into. Can be compressed to a small extent. Particles are not as closely packed as in solid. Now gas, no definite shape and volume. This is the water vapor in gas state. It is highly compressible. Particles are loosely packed. 
Oh, this is the melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation, deposition, sublimation. Let's look at them one by one. Liquid water that turn into solid ice is the process is called freezing. Now, from solid ice, if it is turned into gaseous state directly, we call this as sublimation. So, from solid to gas, we call this as sublimation. Uh, from gas, when it's turned into liquid, we call this as condensation. But well, the opposite process is if the liquid directly turn into gas, we call this evaporation or can be boiling. From gas, when it turns into solid state directly, we call this as deposition. An example for this, the most common one is the mothball. The mothball, the solid mothball can uh, be turned into gas state if we keep them in the cupboard they will be disappear in certain period of time now if we turn the solid state into liquid state we call this process as melting so there are six ways phases or states of matter change now let's move to our next topic material changes there are two types of changes, reversible change and irreversible change. What is reversible change? A change that can go forward and backward. While irreversible change is a change that cannot go backward. It can only go one direction. Now, there is also physical change. It means ice turning into water. So this can be reversed back. The liquid water can be turned back into ice, while the chemical change, which is the irreversible, we cannot turn it back. If the iron nail undergo process of rusting, become uh, change in color. So this one cannot be reversed back. Chemical change is irreversible. Physical change is reversible. We learned things called solutions. What is a solution? Solution is a special mixture of a liquid and solid. Example, we can make a solution by mixing a solid and liquid, such as sugar and tea. Sugar is a solid and tea is a liquid. When you put the sugar inside your tea, the sugar seems to disappear. However, you know the sugar is still there because we can taste it and it tastes sweet. Now we say that the sugar has dissolved in the tea. The sugar particles move into the spaces between the liquid. The substance look as if it has disappeared is called the solute and this is the sugar. The substance that we can still see is called the solvent. In this case is the tea. Uh, the solvent and the solute together are called the solution. Dissolving a solid is the process of mixing a solid and liquid so that the solid is no longer visible. If the solid dissolves in the liquid, it is said to be soluble, and if it does not dissolve, it is insoluble. Solution can be cannot be separated by sieving, filtering, hand sorting, or settling and decanting. Because solute particles are dispersed between the solvent. The example is the sugar dissolved in tea. That is solution. We cannot separate them by sieving, filtering hand sorting, settling, and decanting. We cannot separate the sugar from the tea because it is dissolved. But the sugar from the tea can be separated by heating so that solvent evaporates. So we can evaporate the tea water, the tea liquid, and then the dry solute, which is the sugar crystal, will be left behind. When we have dissolved so much solute in the solvent, that no more solute can possibly dissolve is say that the solution is saturated. If we keep dissolving sugar inside the liquid tea, then it will come to a point where the sugar will not be dissolved anymore. And the tea is saturated, the tea is saturated with sugar. But the time it takes for a substance to dissolve is called the dissolving rate. The rate at which substance dissolves can be affected by three factors. The temperature of the solution, the warmer the tea, the faster the sugar dissolves.
whether or not the solution is stirred or shaken. The more we stir, the faster the sugar dissolves. The green size of the solute solute. If you use sugar powder instead of sugar crystal, it is dissolved faster. Depends on the green size of the sugar. A solute will generally dissolve faster if the solvent in it, which is dissolved, is warm. And a solute will dissolve faster when the solution is stirred or shaken. A solute will dissolve faster if the size of its grain is small. Well, that's all for today. Revision note for chemistry. Science Cambridge checkpoint for primary level. So today we have finished discussing these three topics in a complete revision notes. And in our last video, we have discussed the revision notes for biology. And next video, we'll discuss about physics and also scientific inquiry. Well, see you in the next video. So if you have any question, idea, revision, or a question, or any input, please feel free to write down in the comment section. If you open this video in YouTube through Susan Hira channel, this is Susan Hira channel, you can write down in the comment section. Please do check links in the description because we put so many useful links covering past paper per year, the latest and most updated one, and also complete revision question. Like and share to anybody who might need it because this is absolutely free. Uh, ring the bell so you'll be the first to be notified when we release and update our video covering past paper as well as other interesting topics. Subscribe. That will help us and support us to make more new videos. And see you in the next video. So today's discussion is conducted by Study with Vision Online. Um, we cover for primary secondary checkpoint, IGCSE, IB, SIT, Science, Math, Quiz. Well, bye-bye. We hope that it will be helpful to you. Have a good day. God bless you.